Welcome to the Tutorial Videos for Plotter, the number one visual book outlining software and our series of videos diving into the tag section. In this video, we're going to look at using tags throughout the different sections of Plotter to help organize and filter your ideas. So let's start by creating a new tag. And I'll do that in the toolbar by clicking on the plus new icon. I'll give the tag a name. I'll call this Magic Items. I can move it to a different category. I can create a new category for it using the button in the toolbar, or I can just leave it as uncategorized. I'll also choose a color for this tag. I'll make it purple and click Save. Now if we jump to the Timeline section and we hover over a scene card, at the bottom, we can see any tags we've already associated with this scene card. Here we have the stage's exposition and a theme of safety. To add another tag to the scene card, click into the details and use the plus button next to the tags header. And here we can select our tag for magic items. And when we close, We can see the purple tag for magic items has been applied to this scene card. Now if we come to the filter, and we only want to see scene cards that have a magic items tag associated with it, under the heading for tags, we can click on magic items. It's brought up any scene cards with that tag, which is only the one we just associated. And we can use this tag in the same way throughout the other section. So let's clear the filter, and in the outline section, we can see it's applied the tag for magic items. We can also remove the tag or add it again here. In the notes section, we can add a tag for our magic items. We can see it in purple, then under the filter, we can go to the Tags category and select Magic Items to only see notes associated with the Magic Items tag. In Characters, we can do the same. We can add a tag here for Magic Items and then filter by that tag. And it works the same in Places. So we can clear the filter, and if we'd like to remove that tag, again, we can click the X next to it. So this time when we go to filter by magic items, it won't show any places because no place cards have been associated with that tag. So that shows how we can use tags to filter our information throughout Plotter. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for all our latest tutorials, information, and updates. And I'll see you in the next video.